Tens and ones to 50, lesson 6.6. .6. We can group counters to show numbers as tens and ones. Here we have tens and ones. We have them separated, see? We have one, two, three tens and one, two, three, four ones. We have three tens and four ones and we can write it as 34. Three tens, four ones. Now, we're going to be using these models to help us. When you see a big model like this, this is a flat of 100 units. There's 100 little squares here. It's the same thing as 10 tens. This is a rod of 10. There's 10 squares here. And in this 100, we need to use 10 of these to make one of these. And then here's the little one unit. We have one unit, 10 in a rod of 10, and we have 100 in a flat of 100, okay? So here we have tens and ones. We have one, two, three tens, and we have two ones. And we can write the number that this represents. There's a three in the tens place and a two in the ones place. 32. Here we have two tens and one, two, three, four, five ones. We can write the number. We have two in the tens place and five in the ones place. We have 25. How many do we have here? Well, these are rods of 10, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens. Do you see any ones? No, there aren't any. We have zero ones. And we can write this number. There'll be a 5 in the tens place and a 0 in the ones place. That's 50. How many tens are here? One, two, three, four tens. And we have just one one. And we can write the number. There's a four in the tens place and a one in the ones place. We have 41. Solve and write the numbers. There's 38 cookies. How many tens and ones can we make? What number is in the tens place? If you said three, you're right. And what number is in the ones place? An eight. We can make three tens and eight ones. Let me fix my eight. 49 cupcakes. How many tens and ones can we make? What number is in the tens place? If you said four, you're right. And what number is in the ones place? A nine. We have four tens and nine ones. We have four tens, one, two, three, four, and we have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have a riddle. Let's see if we can solve this. It says, I am a number less than 40. I have seven ones and some tens. What numbers can I be? So there's two different numbers that it can be. We have two blank spaces. So here's the clues that we're given. If the number is less than 40, it must have less than four tens. So it must have three tens, two tens, right? And it says the word tens, I have some tens with an S 
at the end. So that means it's not 10, it says tens. That means there's more than one. So if the tens place has to be smaller than a four, it can be a three, it could be a two, but it can't be a one because that won't work. It says tens, some tens, and only one would just be 10 without an S. So it's not gonna be a one, okay? It says there are seven ones. So there's a seven in the ones place. So we know that there must be a seven in the ones place. So what two numbers did we get? It's less than 40. It has seven ones and some tens. We have a 37 and a 27. And we were able to answer the riddle. We used the clues that were given to us in the words. Our next lesson is going to be about tens and ones to 100. That's lesson 6.7. We're moving along through chapter six and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.